Hello everybody, Reaper X1 here again, playing some more Terror Attack. This time I'm in the R&D, and I'm kind of, I've been challenged once more. And I think this is a good time to maybe, uh, to use some of the inspiration that I've gotten from some other techologists and some viewers and all that. And it's time to get something a little, little bit different built. So, first of all. Hello, how's it going everybody? Hope you're all having a good one already. If not, I hope this video helps you have a good one. Welcome if you're new. Welcome back if you're not so new. Glad you could make it. Also, thanks for joining me, you know. I appreciate all the support. You guys are awesome. I was only, I was trying to say two different things at once there. I kind of messed that one up. You guys rock. And keep being awesome. Yeah, that's what I was after. So let's kind of get down to her here. The challenge, originally, that most recently happened, was to make a flying mobile base. So that's kind of what I'm working on here, is the core of it. Get the actual system done. Okay, now where the inspiration comes in is a, quite a while ago, there was a tech made by a techologist that goes by the name of Happy Apathy. If I remember this right, he was the creator of the dragon. And it was like a Chinese dragon. The thing was freaking cool. Really liked it. A lot of people really liked it. But I was one of them. Guaranteed that thing was worthy of some, some praise. Well, it got me thinking. There is some really cool stuff you could do with that kind of an idea. But I didn't get at it. I had other things in the book. on In the works, I mean. And then not too long ago, another techologist sent me in an idea somewhat similar but more ground based it wasn't able to fly but it was a snake like tech and it was pretty damn cool from what i've seen it actually working good i've had a heck of a time getting it to work but that's what inspired me is i can't control his the way or you know the way he does and by he i mean baconus that'd be the creator of the snake that was sent to me and he did a better job than I've been able to in controlling it. So this has inspired me to make one that I can control. So I kind of got into it. Yeah, that wasn't the one to take apart. I don't know why. Should have an attach back there still. But it doesn't seem to. Nope. Oh well. Anyway. We'll get back into the build here. So yeah, between those three, or three techologists, I'm pretty sure they all play the game, or they all like the game anyway, so that's pretty cool. They've all come together over the time and inspired the hell out of me to make something like this. Now, like I was saying, this is just the core of it. So this can actually is an idea that can be used in many, 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 many different type of techs. As long as they have two, uh, two blocks worth of ground clearance. I guess that's kind of a minimum requirement. Other than that, it gets a little jumpy. Blocks actually get bound up underneath it if it's too low, and then you get jumping around, hung up, and all that kind of fun nonsense. <coughs> and I don't like that. But this is a neat little design that I think might be worth uh, some more attention, you know. Maybe I'll refine it a little better and... See if I can get it to be even smaller, even more efficient. Might be kind of tough to do, though. I can make it smaller, but I don't think it would look right. Because things would be crammed and having to force their way through. And then things might just get knocked off the beams anyway and just get all screwy on me. So I kind of like leaving all the appropriate amount of room. Which is usually like two blocks high over top of the conveyors for the resources to freely pass under them. I think that's usually a pretty good kind of distance to leave for it. And it, it gives you enough room to look around and still be able to see things. And you can watch it work and well until you get it all surrounded with coolness and it's all built in. And, and you can't see nothing but the awesome stuff on the outside that just lays waste to everything. That's usually how a lot of mine kind of end up. But I remember what's on the on the inside, like the gooey innards. I remember that, and I appreciate all the awesome power that they generate for my guy. 
keep me running and alive. That's pretty good catching, eh? Got it. Got it. And yeah, oh, got it. Uh -huh. So yeah, I scrapped me up a few blocks here. <laughs> As you can see, I got the adventure ones because they got quite a few easy ones to get a bunch of resources for uh, fuel. And you get the odd oddball, which is good because then you can see every section of this work. So there's the top sellers. They can get rid of that. And also uh, down there, if you watch, the ones that are shipped off for fuel, they got their own sort or system down there. With complete with silo per side two generators so they can handle unrefined and refined now it can get jammed up of course it's only got a limit of well, I guess it'd be 40 per side but I kind of planned it like that because I figured you know I'm most likely going to be attacking wood because trees are going to be an easy target because oh you know what I forgot to mention some stuff I really, really did. I told you all about the challenge, the inspiration, but I didn't tell you anything about the plan that it inspired. And what that is, is I like the snake idea so much, I'm going to make my own snake. But I'm going to try and make it in a way that it will be able to be a flying mobile base. And I'll be able to actually drive it. So... We're going to see, like, obviously it's going to be a little bigger just by the looks of this. But the idea in all is is a challenge no matter what the size. Because things go squirrely no matter what, or they just don't work. And when you want to get something to pull and fly and do all that stuff, well, it gets harder and harder the bigger it gets, I guess, because you can't use hover stuff. But right there you see it. this is body sections. Now I got two to work, so I'm hoping four will work. I got kind of the wiggle movement down. It's it's all right. It's <coughs> excuse me. Due to its size, you know things do move a little slower, but this thing it, it it's responding pretty nice. I like it so far. It's not quite finished yet. These are just rough ones. It's a nice thing when they're all the same thing. Just multiples, or <laughs> you just build one. It's not that big a deal to change it. So yeah, I'm not quite able to achieve any flight with four of them. Now originally I was thinking, you know, okay, I'll, I'll maybe I'll try the hover glitch. Do this, do that. Now it kind of works, give or take, but there's restrictions and limitations. Like right here is the hover glitch, full effect. So you get the nice turning and all that. You don't get so much the banking like an airplane. You get more of a turn like a chopper. So that's what I wanted for the tail. Because hopefully I was going to have AI run it. And it just follow me. But it, since the hover glitch means forward can activate propellers and steering right. It can actually make things fly potentially. It has before, but I don't think it will right now. The AI doesn't like to hold down the drive button. It likes to do the little tap tap crap. Ah yeah, see there's the problem. Because there's the head. The core of that re refining resource part is actually inside the front of this bigger piece on the front. That's the head of my snake. And there's the refined body section. I got the little upper wing on there. Now if I was able to pass resources more easily between techs. Now I know you're going to say you can already. But no, not what I mean. I want to be able to take it in with a receiver. Throw it down a conveyor. Have it load a, con a collector on the other end so it would then be ready to ship, get picked up from another receiver that would be in that first body section and then continue that process all the way to the tail end of this thing where it could poop out whatever it needs. I think that would be sweet. Now there's other ideas I got too concerning scrap magnets, but anyway. See right here, this is one thing that I like. Got her up in the air. It's still fugly a little bit, but it, it, it's coming along quite nicely. But, as you can see, with the weird shape comes a lot of instability. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to maybe... <laughs> Backflipping. Nice. Get her done. Oh, yeah. It's tired. Having a nap. So, yeah, right there, that's without AI. Activated on the back. 
first body section. And I think this one I got AI on. I don't think it really helps me per se. It seemed to be mixed results. If the thing would follow me and keep driving, it seemed not. Yeah, there's AI. He just bailed on me. You little pussy. Get back here. Freaking coward. What are you doing, man? Screwed up. Well, actually, I might just survive. Oh, no. Too low. <laughs> I thought maybe I was going to pull it off. But yeah, as you can see, this is a really rough mock-up. There's not really nowhere near completion. <laughs> nowhere. <laughs> so here, we got a little more kind of fine-tuning. I've readjusted some things. I've got some stuff, uh, kind of an approach to my takeoff. Because it, it, it depends what I'm using. If I got the hover glitch, I fly this way. And I got a baby the thrust. If I use... The no hover glitch, I got to really be on the ball to pull up at the right time right after takeoff. So this here with the weight and the hover glitch and everything working out good for me. This is what happens. <laughs> she just can't do it. She don't have the power. And all my guys get scared and bail on me. It's like they're deploying for setup. But now that it is all free, as you can see, it does move a lot nicer. It's got a little more power to it. Because, yeah, I was mainly using that weight to kind of balance it. Because without weight, this thing just flips right over. our send overhead. So, yeah, I can kind of... Look, look at this. It even goes backwards. How do you like that, eh? Well, and I didn't realize you could do that, actually. Hit the build beam from up so high. <laughs> like, I was at 120-some feet in the build beam. At one point in my tech, when it leveled me out, that's where it was. So, yeah. Learning new things all the time, eh? So I made a few more tweaks. Got a, th a couple more uh, wings added in. Got her all set back up. Well, not just a couple. When I say a couple, that's an underestimation. A couple in this situation could be like 30. So, yeah. Firing missiles and weapons slows her right down. There's a pause. It's nothing like the pause on my other monster I'm making, though. I think there was a four-minute pause when I went to fire the missiles and guns on that thing last. So here you are. And I got her a little more stable, this one. It's not a bad takeoff. It's kind of... Ah, she's tipping. No, nope, there she goes. Can we do the beck and flip? Beck and flip? Oh, there they pussed out on me again. Bail! Bail! Frickin' cowards. Why do you keep doing it, man? I don't like you guys no more. But see, it, it's more the airplane kind of uh, controls. So, you know, I, it gives me that freedom where I can actually do that. Like, look at that. That's a flip. That's like one and a half flips. And then, yeah, just, I kind of knew it wasn't going to pan out very well. So I just decided to crash it. Well, once again, I got a little more weight on. I spread it around, hopefully reasonable. And yeah, I put a little more, too much thrust on that side. <clears throat> it's one of those where maybe I can steer it back. Maybe, maybe. Nope. Not happening. Okay, take a break there, war worm. Or, I don't know, savage snake. Or, nah, it's too close to savage snail. I already, I like savage snail better. I wouldn't, I wouldn't ding his name like that. But, uh, I don't know what I'm going to call this thing yet. Maybe I'll call it Anna Contact. You know, like Contact for, for a plane. Anaconda. I don't know, Contact for Enemy Contact. Hostile. I don't know, something like that. So, yeah, as with any big monster, especially one that flies, there's a ton of testing that goes along with them. And now I can see small improvements... It's not really exceptional. <laughs> so now I get a little less lean, slower, but then yeah, you get past that point, she just wants to do the side flop. But now it has this, uh, I always want to turn left because of the way the body wiggles. So yeah, that's going to put a hurting on that. So I don't know, I may try a few more things, like I put a bunch of the spoilers to try and give it some extra lift on the far side, so maybe I've put too many of them. But 
I think it could be more of the propellers I switched around. And we're back to the falling on our arse. Or our heads. So yeah, I think I might try a couple more things. And then from there, I'm probably just going to maybe abandon the wiggle body. Or I'll redesign it completely. Instead of having the prope propellers and fans all in an a or curved around. Put them in a straight line and do the design and decorative with the wiggle, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just kind of farting around to see and making sure I know how it's working as an individual piece so I can really go from there when I do redesign. But this is about the time in all of them where I'm going to probably call this one near a close. So once, as always, you know, thanks for joining me. I hope you had a fun experience watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, did like it, you know, throw the blue thumb up under this thing. That'd be awesome to see, you know, some, it's always positive feedback along with any comments you may have, you know, even if you just want to say hello, that'd be pretty sweet. Always love to hear from you. And you know, if you haven't already, you can always subscribe. And if you have already subscribed, you know, ding the bell. That way you know that if you haven't already, now you'll be notified that I have something new out that hopefully you'll be interested in seeing. And don't forget about the Sardar Showcase, where if you got a cool original tech, send it in through the auditions link down below, and I'll make the best damn video I can out of it. So until next time, everybody, keep being awesome, and keep having a good one. Bye.